Hello, it's me again, the Broken Condom, here on a video for once, not a stream. Uh, basically, my internet's gone a bit wrong, uh, for whatever reason, and it's decided, no, I don't like functioning anymore, I'm going to be a pencil. So, instead we're on a video, so it's not stream, whatever, but, you know, we'll manage. Um, we begin with some drug consumption. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yes, yeah, you can. Uh, but fear not, mothers, fathers, and creepy priests who are raising your children off iPads. Uh, this is a uh, hay fever uh, 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 thing, um, purely because just just I know it's not hay fever season, but uh, bottoms up. Um, ah, lovely. Uh, today, as you can probably tell by the title or you know thumbnail, if you're dyslexic, right down there is we are looking at today the LBSCR H2. Wow. Um, I'm not going to do like a proper like review thing on it, um, just purely because uh, I, I'm going to leave that to the other guys. But I thought I'd show off my favourite liveries of the pack and go for a little drive. Uh, before that, though, I'd like to point out we are on the, uh, the Wickham Railway and Joint Line. Um, and there is a, a, a version on a forum somewhere. Um, which has like dig cot and all that, uh, which I wanted to drive on. So I messaged Chris of Epic Bonastard on Discord, and it went a little bit like this. So after that exchange, I booted TS up, loaded the scenario, made it, and whatever, put all the trains down and what have you. And then I realised I forgot to download the new version. So, yeah, it's gone well. Uh, but never mind, I, th I, th I thought, you know, there's no, there's no point in doing like a proper big run anyway, because it's, it's only a video. And plus, I'm filming this before I gotta go and do the... Journey to college, because uh, that's as I said in the stream, that was a, that's a thing that's happening. Anyway, let's actually get on because you were probably bored to tears. Uh, so this is the first livery which I'm going to highlight, which is the uh, LBSC uh, Marsh Umber livery, uh, specifically the version with the crests. Um, I would not like. A f I'm not a fan of of the one with the weird LBSCR letter gubbins. Um, as impressive as it is. And as time-consuming it must have been for Chris to make this. Uh, um, the, uh, yeah, I prefer the, 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 the crests with the LBSC on the tender. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, so that, that's that. I like the sort of the white roof as well, sort of contrast with that. That is very nice. I do like that. Uh, moving on, this is a Southern Railway Brighton Green, I believe. Uh, represented by 424 Beachy Head. Uh, which is very nice. I like the lining on the frames. It does look very good. Uh, yes. Moving on. There's not really much I can say, really. It's just a livery. It's just a train, isn't it? Uh, well, I say it's just a train. I've actually been looking forward to these for like ever since they were announced. Because I, I saw the pictures Chris was putting up of... Because um, he modelled the wheels first. I think that's sort of his process. He does the wheels first. And then I was sort of like... Eh, it's just a train, it's just it's a, a southern thing, I wasn't really interested, and then he started putting more pictures up, I was like, Phew, my helmet is hitting the ceiling, uh, but never mind, uh, this livery here is the southern, I think this is Bullied Experimental Olive, which I think is one of my favourites in the pack, it has got a really nice sort of shade of green to be fair, I do quite like it, uh, sort of like contrasting with the uh, sort of yellow lining and what have you. Uh, again, represented by Beachy Head, so we've got uh, a, a a thing going on there, apparently. Uh, so I was that, that is that is very nice. I do quite uh, enjoy looking at this. Uh, this one is aha. This is another one of uh, well, they're all my favourites, obviously, as I said earlier. Uh, but this is the pre-war Malachite livery, represented by South Foreland, and I I do really like this shade of green. It kind of reminds me of. Um, of the 90s, which is weird because I was born in 2003, um, but things things and items in my primary school had these colours, and obviously they were sort of made in the 90s and whatever, 
Uh, so I, I, I don't know. Is that a thing? Can I say that? Perhaps. And lastly, we've got BR Line Black, which is, it just it just looks lovely on anything. Um, but I particularly like the weathering, especially on this livery, because he um, sort of it's you've got that sort of bumpiness to it. Um, even me with my um, sort of uh, sh shimmery shininess turned off in Railworks Enhancer, it, it does look very nice. Um, but today we're not driving any of those liveries. Because over here, we have an train. Uh, complete with some reskins of the BR AP Mark 1s, which I forgot to change that to a W. Never mind. Um, courtesy of Golden Age Developments, made by someone called Diamond something. Uh, this is the BR Malachite livery. So you can see it's a sort of lighter shade. I don't know if that was like a painted on thing, or if that's just how the livery sort of ended up being after a certain amount of time. Um, but never mind. Uh, this is represented by 32423, also called South Forland. I do believe 423 is um, the needles. Um, but um, is that, oh dear, is that, is that supposed to be there like that? A sort of, or is this, have I put down the wrong version? Or is this just a bug with the reskin pack? It's got like a line there. Uh, yeah, don't know if that's supposed to be a thing. And anyway, um, yeah, I sort of, I, I haven't looked at the manual because it was being weird by installing it because I didn't open with administrator and whatever, because that is a thing that happens. Uh, don't open with administrator, it doesn't install the manual, so I need to sort of sort that out. Uh, but never mind, uh, let's click on the train and what have you. Wow. If you wouldn't mind releasing the brakes, sir, that would be very nice. Let's have a listen to the uh, the whistles. Very nice. I think the sort of end needs to be sort of tweaked a bit, just sort of... You can hear when it ends, like the sort of pop sound. Uh, which obviously... Isn't really that authentic, really, but never mind. Is there any B whistles? No. V? Control? Space? Uh -huh, Aha, yes, there are. Um. Stop. Thank you. Uh, that went well. Yeah, a selection of uh, control space as well. Uh, it's running. I'm going to turn my sound down. There we go. Uh, but should we pick on passengers? Nah. Fuck it. We'll this is an empty stock movement. Uh, but I, th I think it's a good idea now to start going. We're only going to do like 30 miles to Banbury, really. Uh, shouldn't take too long. But let's whack it in forward gear and let us depart. Put a head code on. Oh, bollocks. That's not gone well. Whoops. 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 I want the other one. Five, six, yeah, there we go. Is there headboards with this? No. Maybe with the BR one, I think there is. I don't know. Again, this isn't like a review thing, it's just me uh, doing this. I'm gonna turn the game down a tad. There we go. Just to make sure you guys can hear me. That's a sharp corner. But let's just see how this thing performs, uh, really, is the plan. Just stick it down on it. The only thing is, it's a video now, so it's going to look really awkward just with the face cam on, me just sort of staring intently. Red signal, can I go through? I like that. Uh, the only thing is it doesn't show the uh, whistle particles. But I think that's just a thing on... Actually, no, it isn't, actually. That isn't a thing on all Dokus that have that uh, capability. Because Victory Works Locos do it, so... Um, yeah, steam particles for the whistle for the tab thing, please. Would be nice. Um, but yeah, just a little nitpick, of course. Very nice.
Clever. Let's have a, actually have a nice look in the cab, actually. I do quite like this. I think the cold texture's improved as well. Um, I think I might have said before, but I'm not like a massive fan of how Chris does his uh, coal in the tender. But it does seem a bit better uh, here. Um, seems a bit more full. Uh, but, you know. Anyway, ooh, lag. Switch that on. Damper's open because that's apparently a thing you have to do. And relax. There is some nice weathering in the cab as well. I do quite like this. As per standard, of course. Let's have a look at the different... Ah, uh, dear. As standard, a uh, nice uh, little gif image for the fire, which creates a very nice effect, I do think, myself, yes. I like this sort of sitting on the coal uh, sort of feel as well. I'm not sure that's supposed to flash though. Um, I don't know if that was just a one time thing for just then. Not sure. I have some downhill. I haven't actually tested this run, so I don't know. I was still sort of thinking, mm, is the entire 30 miles going to be uphill and I'm going to struggle? Uh, but no, it'll be fine. Um, what do you mean, ETA? 11.41. What is this bollocks? Seems to be going down. I haven't got one and a half hours to do this. How long have I got until I need to go? About an hour and ten. But it won't take me an hour and ten to do 30 miles. So that's all good. Do some injecting. What's I doing? Having a look at the, uh, the cab ship. I think it's I think it's just basically all of like the standard CW uh, cameras. I don't think anything's really changed. I like the include like the recent inclusion of some of these newer ones, so like these low angled uh, shots, and this one as well. So you can do a sort of shot like that. Let's have another swig. This is this is supposed to be my drink for college in here. I'm just consuming it now, but I suppose there's nothing stopping me from topping it up from the tap because. I live in a uh, first world country and we have tap water, which is readily available from all good retailers, like Seven Trent. This nameplate is really fucking me off, don't you? So I know, th I know that and that is wrong, but it's something to do with the manual somewhere, I believe. So I need to sort of see. Actually, no. I'm going to check this. LBSCR H2 numbers and names. We'll have a look at this. Alright. Models, locomotive, 423. The needles, yeah. So, South Foreland is supposed to be 421. So, I don't, I don't, I don't quite know what's gone on there. Um... Maybe it's a bug. Um, the, the, to be fair, this pack was only released like four hours ago. Um, but, you know, if it, if it turns out to be a bug, then I'm sure it'll be fixed in due course. God, this thing's injecting quickly. Jesus Christ. Was it that Chris says is the... Um, fire mass for this. Is it like between 55 and 65 percent? Dunno. And we can cease the injection action now. That sounded a bit rapey, didn't it? And let's do some more cabbage. Well, cab-ing. Not cabbage. Speaking of food, I do actually have a sandwich here. Uh, because I'm inept. My mum made me a sandwich before she went to work this morning. Uh, which is very dank. Right, well, let's let's stop doing that. Let the coal burn for a bit. This is sort of this is the point in which I would say, "How is everyone in the chat?" Um, but of course, I can't ask that because this isn't live. 
Uh, although you may notice the jacket's gone from behind there. I actually wore it uh, yesterday. Uh, and the day before as well, but... Well, for a little bit, but... I took it off because it was hot. But never mind. I just hear a noise. I thought I heard a noise. And never mind. I'm going to half wear my headphones, I think. I look like a twat, but... No, actually, I'm going to keep them on properly. I look like Belen doing that. Oh, dear. Never mind. There we go. This is more swish. Which station is this, Thomas? Hadden Haddenham. It's not even a station. It's just a place with sidings in. Let's do some more of that. Oh, it is a station. Oh, it's a through line. Oh, that makes sense. But yeah, I was, I was a bit stumped for what route to drive on. Uh, because... I'm still not sure what bits I'm allowed to show on West of England. Uh, or Purbeck or wherever. And Southampton to Weymouth is just old. What else is there? Don't know. Wasn't really sure what else there was. Uh, so I thought, yes, yeah, Wickham line. Uh, and then obviously the things happened that I told you about earlier. And Gubbins. I've also fucked around with the settings as well. Chris helped me with my OBS settings. I uh, took him away from recording episodes. Uh, well, and well, his episode. And I made him help me with OBS. So hopefully there should be a better quality-ish. Uh, depends on how this renders, I suppose. But never mind. But I do like the sort of aesthetic uh, Atlantics give as well. With sort of the like the rods and that. So it's coupled, obviously it's coupled on the second axle, but it's only got two axles, so it looks a bit... It looks a bit odd, but that's why I like it. So I'm kind of looking forward uh, to seeing if the Great Western Society... I think it is the Great Western Society that owns... Um, Lady of Legend, isn't it? I, do, I believe so. But whatever. Whoever owns Lady of Legend, I'm looking forward to seeing um, as to whether they convert her into an Atlantic for the for a bit. Um, I wouldn't expect that to be like any time soon, because obviously the thing's only been built like within the last couple of years. Um, but yeah, I did actually go and see Lady of Legend, which you know there might be a picture on your screen of, with me with the with the wheels or whatever. I look like a bit of a nonce in it. That was, that's almost a year ago, actually, in next month. Well, yeah, this time next month, a month and two days, as I'm recording this, and probably uploading this as well if it's the 15th, um, then, yeah, it'll be uh, a year uh, since we went to the Dickot, which is a long time. But, yes, yeah, let's, let's do some nice sort of Aztec shot. For some reason, I came on TS, and suddenly my right analog stick gain sensitivity. So I'm thinking, okay, that's that's very good. We can have some better shots, I suppose, but it's a bit more awkward to handle as I've been used to the slow movements for about a year. Hmm. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was quite funny waking up this morning because I, I was down there, and then I said to my bed, I woke up about six-ish. Well, no, it's more like quarter to six. Quarter to seven, uh, rather. And it was just to my alarms, because even though I'm not in college until the afternoon, I, I, I like to wake up early. Just to gain some mojo, I think. Is my phone flashing at me? Oh my god, it is. Oh no, I'm accidentally ignoring people. Oh well, I'll ignore them a bit more, unaccidentally. Uh, what was I saying? Question mark. I do like this this sort of junction here. Um, yeah, woke up and I was thinking, oh god, I wonder if uh, 
Chris has done the BR variants, uh, yeah. Because I know the only BR variants, really, would be the this one, the Malachite, and the BR lined green. BR lined green? BR lined black. The BR lined BR Brunswick green on these. Fucking hell. Someone get on that. I know I'm learning reskinning, but whatever. You know, I, I, I can't really do it that, that, that well yet, but someone do that. BR green on a. Uh, on this and I'll love you forever. Not Chris's BR green because I've always said that it's too light. Um, but just normal Brunswick, just that sort of dark, rich Brunswick I, I, I really like, so. Someone do that. Thanks. Um, but yes, woke up, I thought, oh, I wonder if Chris has done the BR variants yet. And I looked on Discord on my phone and I saw, out now, I was like, oh fuck, better, better get a go and buy that because I've got a bit of money uh, stored away. And I do get a bit of money now. Which is good. Sort of money I get for uh, the bus uh, to college and food and drink and things, should I need it. And phone credit. Things like that. Because I'm a I'm one of those degenerates that's still on a pay as you go sim. Which, you know. Never mind. Ooh, lag. My favourite. Why are you red? And why am I slowing down? Holy fuck! I know why I'm slowing down, because I've left that, like that. Oh shit. I've accidentally fucked my train. Whoops. Too busy talking. But never mind, problems are there to be solved. So we'll just coast it, you know, there's a downhill going on. You know, we'll just coast it. I might have my sandwich, actually. That might be an idea. I'm gonna have my fat sandwich. I don't even know what's in it. I can't even see. I'm gonna open it like this so I want like to deafen the microphone. Oh whoops, I can't I can't drive for shit, evidently. Well I can, just not on. Yeah, what's in it? Cheese and tomato What Whoa, cheese and tomato. Nice. Actually, do you know what this needs? Xbox controller, you can go there. Do you know what this needs? This needs HP source. Okay, I'm going to go in and get some HP source. Save program. Wait, no, this isn't root building. Um, I'm going to leave this like that, alright? I'm going to go and get some HP source. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. I don't know if I will edit this. I don't know if I can be bothered. But have, have, fun, have fun looking at some of the scenery going by. In fact, let's, 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 let's do that. Is this? Yeah, we'll do this. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna get some HP sauce. I'll be back momentarily with Gubbins. Ah. I don't know why I did that, but never mind. Look, what I've got, if I put my headphones back on, right? Not brand endorsed, but HP Source, look at that. Nice, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it in my sandwich. How's the train looking? Um, eggy. Never mind. Uh, let's open the sandwich, shall we? Normally I'm not hungry before I start college, because I'm always shitting my pants about it for some reason. But, Never mind, we'll put that in there. Close that up. Open that one up. Oh, what the fuck? I've got cheese on my finger. Um, lovely. You get to sit and watch me eat. It's great. This is what we call quality content. Which can only be achieved when Riley is home alone, like he is at the moment. Um, more, more, more telecommunication. Um, just in case someone turns back up at my house and the HP source is missing, I'm going to go and put it back. Um, so, yeah. 
This is, this is brilliant. I get I get to make free content and I don't even have to like say anything. I can just fuck off and fuck around with sources and that. Fucking get back in your cage! So I was just talking to my mum. Uh, train. Blackthorn. A nice compliment to my sandwich. Holy shit, we're blowing off, but we're not making any sound. So I prefer the sort of steam density that comes out of the safety valves to what comes out of the chimney. If it matched, it would probably look a bit better. I don't know why Chris had to change his uh, smoke particles to be a bit fluffier, but... Never mind. Let's go back in the cab while we enjoy our coal-fired cheese tomato with HP sauce uh, sandwich. This is like my rip-off of like Dark Eats, but it's um, Bellend Eats. Um. We're speeding up yet? Oh, we are fantastic. Cheese tomato HP sauce sandwich with white bread by Warburton's not sponsored. I would recommend. Let's answer the people I've been ignoring. Actually, fuck, I need to fucking put my phone on charge actually. I've got 30%. I've gone about an hour until I got to go, so that's not good. All of that. In the bin. There we go. How are things looking? Oh, there's an uphill. I would go as far to say, though, that this route, it, it, it is dated. I know I said that, like, Southampton to Weymouth is like a bit old, but that's like proper like Kuju if ish Kuju if Kuju ish. Um, but the guy who's making this clearly has the right idea with sort of like the um, the embankment lost. In fact, these aren't lost, are they? They're just objects. Um, but still, he's got the right idea with that and the telegraph poles and that. He's he's it, it is it is a good route. I just think if some of the techniques are swapped out for some of the stuff that, like, for example, Golden Age are doing, not trying to suck dick, of course, uh, much, but I, I think that would be an idea. HP sauce leaking out my sandwich, cunt. Hmm. This is very good. I'm very much enjoying my sandwich and this lag. This just means I've got to brush my teeth the second time today. Ugh. Effort. Um. I hope the sound of me eating isn't too shit or loud or whatever. Holy shit, there's another railway line down there. Does that go anywhere? Centre player. Oh, it does. It goes to... Where's this? Ooh, Oxford. Scary. Oh, I'm tired. And my eyes itch. And my penis itches. I should probably get that checked out. Ugh. Actually, speaking of penis, right, yesterday, 
I wore a brand new pair of jeans to college. And I put them on. I was thinking, oh, bloody hell, these are tight. Um, so I had to obviously undo all the buttons and then pull them up and then do them back again. And I started walking around. I was thinking, fucking hell. This is really painful. So then I started uh, walking to college and I honestly thought that by the time I got back home, I would have been circumcised because my cot was fucking jammed in somewhere nasty. But that was okay because I went to the toilet at college and I undid the button, so it's, it's all good. Mm. Although, there was someone in the cubicle as I was stood at the urinal sort of sorting buttons out. And you must have thought, why is that guy Probably, presumably, he couldn't see me, obviously, because he was in the cubicle. But presumably he was thinking, why is that sort of gentleman spending five minutes to the, uh, sort of the urinal? It's just a, just a little bit bait, I suppose. In my mind, it's bait. Fuck. Water is it for... What the fuck? Why do I keep forgetting this shit? I'm too, I'm too captivated by the scenery and my sandwich, uh, which almost choked on. Nice. And have a zesty drink. Before last week, I wasn't drinking like just water, just on its own. And because that's you know the only drink you're allowed at college, really. Well, that's what, that, that's what that my tutor said. Uh, I've been putting water in there, and it's like, oh. It's not that bad. If I could sort of think on there, there we go. This is very good. Fuck, no, I'm half an hour into recording already. Jesus Christ. And I've not had any shitty encoder issues yet, so thanks. Namaste, Chris. Well done. Um, I don't know, Chris. Alright, second half a sandwich. Because I have them cut up into like triangles because I'm full. But it's better that way, I think. Think about it HP and tomato is a bit like making like your own pickle, innit? Mm. Nice. That went well. Probably gonna get the absolute shit ripped out of me for scranning my lunch on camera, but do I care? Bit. <laughs> nah. It's just a meme, bro. I should have gotten a fucking milk thing like I had the other day. Never mind. Let's be fair, I did. I did drink my two out of the packet. There's, 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 there's three of us children in this uh, accommodation, and there are six in a uh, in a pack, six bottles of milk in a pack. So two each, because we live in a society, of course. But never mind. Need more tomato and cheese and shit. Mm. Come on, train. What's it, train? It's going to take me half an hour to do nine miles, and I'm doing 65 miles an hour. That's some bullshit. For legal reasons, that wasn't, it wasn't an imitation of an Asian accent. I need to do Riders Adventures episode 2 as well. 
Honestly, that's an absolute banger. If you watched the first episode, and you saw the teaser at the end, with all the credits, you'll know it's going it's to be very epic. Let's be fair, it's probably only going to be like five people from my sick form slash secondary that's going to enjoy it, but never mind. It's all for the banter. Um. Oh, fuck. Yo, nice tunnel occlusion. Holy shit, Echo. Let's do some echoey shit. I would like to drink a bit more zest to it. But never mind, I can't, I, I'm not going down a third time. I'm not, I'm not that much of a lazy content creator. Much. A thought just hit me. I hope you guys heard me while we were in, we were in that tunnel. Imagine you didn't. It'd be quite funny. More sandwich. Um... I'll have to do like a Marco Pierre White uh, review on this sandwich when I'm finished. I've actually been watching some of his stuff. Um, has like an hour long video floating around on YouTube of um, I think it's like a press conference Q&A thing. And basically he just sort of tells his life story. It's actually interesting. Like to be fair. Um, but yeah. Then it got onto the uh, audience uh, questions and it just got cringe so I just started watching Super Nanny instead. And there's only one episode on there that I could find. That was the UK version. And that was the the one with that little girl who was like being an absolute cunt. Things like Somerset I think they were in. Um, she's yeah, seeing how that kid behaves is just its just the reason why I'm not having kids. Another reason is because it'll turn out like me! And we don't want little me's running around with little moles on their faces, do they? Do we? No, 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 we don't, we don't want that. I should have bought some ketchup to dip the rest of this sandwich in. It will complement the tomato. Hang on, I don't have any tomato left in here. Can. Oh well. Mm. Very nice. Let's look at some more scenery properly. And actually, look at the train because that's what you guys came here to see. Fuck. What the shit? Um. Nice. I guess. Um. Yo. That's not good. <gasps> water trough. Oh, does this thing have water trough capabilities? Okay, control T. Control T. Oh, it doesn't have a water trough. Oh, uh, scoop, rather. Fuck. Ye bastard. I need to take notes. My water trough on my route is... about as short as your penis. Which is a weird thing to say, considering... No, I'm not going to say that. Anyway, sandwich. Let's finish off the sandwich. Mm. Mm. I'm doing this a lot. Which is my way of saying yes. My non-verbal way of going... It's just good. Because speaking with your mouth open, like I am at the moment, is very rude. I will say though, this uh, this H2 Atlantic has uh, performed very well. Despite being the wrong name and number, but we'll gloss over that. It's 
a stream. Is that like a loft, I wonder? Maybe. I used to be really confused by water when I was a kid. In TS, not in like real life. It's like, oh, what's that? It's water. Whoa. No. Like, just how, just how water worked in the root editor, I didn't get it. Like, big bits of ocean, I just started putting, like, bread and I was like eight. I just started, like, putting, like, canal lofts next to each other and hoping for the best. And it's like, uh, no. It's not quite how it works. Um. Alright, stop injecting, you silly cunt. What the fuck? Where's my mouse gone? Oh, there it is. 100% in the, f in the, in the shit. What the fuck? Does that speed us up? No, it doesn't. We don't need speed, anyway. We're going fast enough. We're doing, like, 66.2. As you can see here. Unless you can't read numbers, in which case... Uh, go and watch that cringe-ass season 22 episode of Tanky and Tom and friends and shit. But never mind. Is that a Malmesbury house? No, it's just an house. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of things to talk about. Bamber is like right there. Closing statement, trying to think about it. There's my uh, old student badge. Anyone from sick form will recognise these. I won't show you, uh, like I think I said in the stream, I won't show you what it actually looks like because it shows my school on there. Well, my old school. Anyway, let's 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 prepare to do some stopping, shall we? My head looks like shit. <laughs> I was gonna say it looks like shit today, but it just looks like shit every day. <laughs> Fuck. Nice rhythm created by the coaches there. Speaking of rhythm, the rhythm bot's dying because YouTube and Google are having a hissy fit about it. It's not good. Don't buy YouTube Premium. Boycott it. Yo, nice, nice FPS we got there, game. Thanks. There you go. Neil. I do like these nameplates on these, though. They are, they are, they are something different. But I do like them. Holy shit! What the fuck? The sounds went a bit weird. Never mind. Holy shit, we've got to stop. I think there's like versions of these of these liveries with the um silver hingy bits. Oh my god, that's a corner. I can't remember what they're called. But yeah. Four mile an hour speed limit, I don't think. That's quite accurate, sir. Um yeah, um I didn't really want to stop right here. Um, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, is there any chance we could speed up? Yeah, cheers. Imagine doing like 8 mile an hour and already be doing double the speed limit. Nice. There you go, I think it's supposed to say 40. But Why are you taking me this way? You may as well have just kept me on that. Oh, fucking TS Dispatcher, she can suck my fat, juicy cock. There you go, and go down here. Got signals in the face. I do like this, though, this little station shed thing going on. It is very nice. Anyway, let's prepare to do some stopping. Ah, it's the twins from that film that I can't remember the name of, but it's scary. I don't like scary films. Yo, stop, dickhead. Stop! I just know, carry on a bit, carry on a bit, carry on a bit, carry on a bit, carry on, carry on a bit. We haven't got all the coaches in the platform. Fuck it, we're done. <laughs> nice. Anyway, Xbox controller. Let's do some panning shots, shall we? Very nice. Anyway. That has been my coverage of the LBS CRH2, which I, you know, wasn't a review, but... Oh, fucking fuck, I pause breaks. I can't be asked to listen to that. Uh, it's, it's not really, as I said, not really a review. I'm going to leave that to the other guys. Uh, you know, whatever. They're better at it than me. Uh, but yes, I hope uh, this has been enjoyable. I'll try and get my internet sorted for more streams than that. Um, if not, 
then route building and things may have to just be videos and whatever. But we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what occurs. But anyway, this has been me, the Broken Condom, with the H2 Atlantic from Caledonia Works. It's fourteen ninety nine released today. Go and buy it. Show Chris some love and peace and love and Ringo Star quotes and gubbins. And I will be back soon at some point. So... Cheers for sitting through my voice uh, for 45 minutes. Uh, over that, actually. And goodbye.